Beneath its 21st century skyline, Indianapolis faces some very modern problems. Globalization is biting here. It's a proud manufacturing city, but the jobs are leaving town. In the sprawling blue-collar neighborhoods, life has become a struggle. The steady employment that sustained this place for generations has gone. And people here are finding it hard to cling on to the American dream. Indianapolis is crying out for a savior. And last year, Donald Trump answered the call. He flew into town on a mission. Carrier, a major employer here, was shutting down its plant and moving to Mexico. The president-elect intervened and the plans were scrapped. Jobs saved, job done. We're gonna have a good Christmas. Needless to say, he's now a hero among the workers on the production line. I think it's awesome. I think that he's showing that, you know, he is going to look out for the American people and try to keep the jobs here. What would you say to Mr. Trump? Thank you. <laughs> but not everyone's so grateful. Unions can't argue with the results so far, but many just don't trust the new president. Do you think he really cares about the workers? No. Uh, you know, he has spent uh, millions of dollars keeping out uh, people from organizing uh, unions in his hotels and casinos so uh, he's got a lot of his businesses outside this country so do I think he cares about the American worker? No, I don't. At a bowling alley nearby a team of workmates are playing a big match. It's a welcome distraction. Production at their factory is moving abroad too and all their jobs will go. Donald Trump won the presidency with promises made to folk like this. He'd bring back the good old days, rescue America, turn the country round. A lot of people are relying on him. I believe that it would be uh, that you need to step in and do something urgently and quickly. It's not just for me and my family, but all Americans and their families. A couple of hours upstate in Gary, Indiana, they know all about Donald Trump and his promises. This town has seen better days. It's the birthplace of Michael Jackson, but there's not much glamour here. Back in the 1990s, the council granted licenses to build two casinos in Gary. Donald Trump smelt money and applied. Trump promised to sprinkle his stardust all over this city. He was going to make Gary great again. But that didn't happen. His casino made money for a few years. Then he sold up and pulled out of town. He has suggested that he would uh, make Gary sort of a Hollywood of the Midwest. Chuck Hughes was on the council at the time. He watched the Trump circus roll into town and then roll out again. I mean, he did not fulfill uh, the promises that he made early on. He owes you one, doesn't he? Uh, I think he owes, definitely owes Gary, but he owes the entire United States. Yeah, uh, yeah, we, and that's, that's a marker we like to call him on. Yeah, absolutely. And so America has staked its future on a showman. The country has taken a massive gamble. But there are many here who would argue they've little left to lose. Martin Geisler, News at 10, Gary, Indiana.